My brother. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another vloggy vlog and this one is a special one because we are riding none other than a 2023 Panigale V2. I'm gonna go for a little cruise, quick first impressions uh, and then uh, see what we can do. All right. Let's get used to this baby. And uh, for those who are new to the channel and to the new, uh, to the riding bikes vids, uh, at no point is this a review of any sort. If anything, this is just uh, uh, a first quick impression and just like what I think about it and whatnot. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna take it easy. It's a beautiful day in New York City. It's super warm today, and uh, there's also a New York City marathon happening. Um, so it's a uh, it's a tricky day. Here we go. Go ahead, everybody. What's going on? I'm totally noob in this bitch. I don't know what I'm doing with this bike. And it's got a quick shifter. All right, so let me talk about the bike a little bit from the little, the few little things that I do know about it. 2023, uh, literally like 50 miles on this baby. The baby's brand new. Um, I'm gonna get to the front here. All right. Where's neutral? There we go. Good bananas. Uh, the, the city, the thing is, I'm used to the monster, obviously, right? Um, and uh, the sitting position is so completely different. And I'm so not used to riding sports bikes, super sports, whatever. So like you could tell that I like, like the first few minutes are real. Like this is literally me trying to get used to the riding position. Like the ergonomics, that everything is so very different. The bike is definitely getting hot, and of course, it's like a 75 degree day here in New York City. And I'm really hoping the BQE is wide open. So I can do a little bit of a speedy stuff. I don't even know how fast I'm going. This guy's got no helmet, he's chilling. Holy shit. The quick shifter is nice. Last time I forgot to talk about it, but this baby has 155 horsepower. Too bad that BQE is a little bit gunked up. 155 horsepower for a bike that is uh, 441 pounds full of gas. I do want to fucking open her up, but this weird traffic, I think we're gonna have a chance right here. Wow, the brakes are strong. I'm not even used to it. I almost pulled the fucking wheelie there. Holy fucking shit, the power of this bike. God damn.
Wow. I am not fucking... This is not my kind of bike. This is definitely uh, something very different. And you got... This is basically P uh, Panigale V4's younger little brother. You got all the modes. You got all the electronics as the other bikes as the, the v4 you still got the show of a suspension front and back which is totally fine the mirrors are totally fucking useless for me right now they're also not set for me i guess here we go i'm gonna Oh my god, this thing turned, the rails, this feels so light. Obviously it becomes alive as soon as you go a little bit quicker. Such a light bike. The, the temperature, the heat is 100% noticeable immediately. And it's a pretty, pretty warm day too. It's not, I mean, it's not a summer day, but. All right. I'm gonna take this back to BQE. See if I can go a little bit quicker again. This bike is definitely not a, uh, you know, a uh, small street dweller. God damn. What a bike. What a bike. Even with the stock exhaust, the thing is like the speed is so crazy to me that uh, I'm so not used to this speed can't even imagine what a v4 feels like but like i can't even process a lot of the other feelings that i'm having about the bike you know the seat is more comfortable than i thought same with the sitting position um and my buddy did warn me the clutch does need to be pulled out a lot more in order to take off good lord good lord and i definitely feel super cool on it i love the white color um not so sure about the red accents, but. Holy shit. Is that rain? Is it really raining? God damn. Of course it's pouring. And right now I'm in uh, sports mode. It has three modes. It has sports mode, it has a. Uh, touring mode uh, or no no urban mode and then uh, race and race is like the the big kahuna the big enchilada um the suspension is fully adjustable and it's a uh, 900 i mean i all the information i'm giving you is so jarbled so like just please don't watch this as a review of any sort this is just an impression but uh God damn, it's getting hot. It's 217 already. And the exhaust is right under your ass, so. So interesting. This whole thing is so interesting. See if I can go a little bit faster. You got this, bro. The different pressure on the wrist is crazy though. Let's see if I can experience just a touch of this power here. BQE looks kind of wide open. Should be able to do something. It's also pouring. Not pouring, but drizzling. Can't believe how strong. And, and the thing is, I watched some reviews and people were talking about how the brakes are weak. And uh How the brakes are weak and goddamn I didn't find so man of course there's no room to be gunning it oh look it's wide open over here
I can't even fucking figure out what is happening. This is another type of speed. Can we imagine what a V2 uh, or V4 feels like? And the quick shifter is just unnerving. Because you can feed it, keep feeding it power. Holy fucking balls. But at the same time, you can kind of sit up and unweigh your. Uh... Oh, look, it's the marathon. That was marathon running by. Yeah, New York City marathon. Where well, you can kind of sit up and unweigh your. Uh back in a way um, and weigh your oh, what is this guy doing is he about to cut me off yeah it's like surprise I, I could see myself cruising on this bike forever what the fuck is you doing my boy my brother my brother you're on BQE with no helmet oh boy it's not a... There's like flashing lights behind me. I don't know for what. Alright. I gotta get ahead because I didn't like those flashing lights behind me. Ooh, it's a little dirty here. This thing is fucking roasty for sure. Whereas the neutral, neutral is a little hard to find. I literally feel like my ass is burning or something. Like something is on fire, for real. <laughs> something is smoking. Not smoking, but smelling like smoke. God damn. shit the quick shifter on this thing is fucking brilliant thank you what a machine what a fucking machine all right I'm gonna take it to my special block that I know and just discuss on uh, that guy jumped I keep shifting. I keep, I mean, I keep clutching. No need to clutch. Holy cow. Rear brake. There it is. Oh. Beautiful. Here we are. I think my shoelace is untied. You have to tie that. Cool. You could smell it. I wonder what is burning. I wonder if it's my ass. Because you could smell like fabric of some sort just heating up. Beautiful thing. What a fucking machine. I okay, alright, let's see. Because I actually read all about these things. And I can't remember anything, but 955 cc, so it's not quite a leader bike. Uh, and apparently, after 100, that's when it starts to uh, lose its uh, potency. But up to 100, I can assure you, the thing is uh, as lively as anything. Holy shit! I'm like sweating bullets, not only because of the, because it's hot out right now, or because the bike is hot, I'm just like, it's a visceral experience, for sure. And uh, 
I'm definitely sitting like I find myself obviously like the 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 clip-ons are so low that I find myself like straining my neck more I guess all those things you kind of you get used to eventually as you ride this baby more Hello. Little tool Tuesday spot over here. We're almost there. And I gotta do one little pull on my signature block over here. It's a fucking quick shifter. God, da 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 damn. God, da 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 damn. That's how you get into the big trouble, you know, versus regular. Here we go. Yes, there was more, but I just didn't want it. I just didn't want it because there's a black cat crossing my road and black cat, at least back in Russia, means uh, bad sign. All right. Turn this baby around and then go back to my special spot to uh, do a little bit of a walkabout outside of this 2023 V2. I mean, I could do it like right here in the middle of the street, but I don't think there's any cops, so. Yeah, I didn't want to. That's as fast as I'm gonna go. That's as fast as I, I can go on a fucking public street. You literally feel your ass shifting back. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. This is definitely not a bike for me. second gear that's only the second gear all right here we go here's our block here is our block where we parked this baby up there we go right all by all that junk that's perfect somebody's house it might be which it might be somebody's house all right we'll do it here oh. wow holy shit what a freaking bike what a freaking bike and the fan is going so let me tie my shoe before I forget uh, let me do a little posing with it before I do the rest of it
All right, ladies and gents. So, how was that for me? I'm sorry for the most incoherent uh, video ever. I kind of spitted uh, some information I remembered and while trying to like contain my smile and happiness. <sighs> what can I say about this bike? Um, it's insane. I don't think this is a bike for me because this is the kind of bike you get hurt on. And I'm obviously a little princess because this is not even the big boy, the, the V4, the big leader because it's less than a leader. And I can't even imagine. I mean, I have a lot of respect for people who ride these sports bikes. Um, but at the end of the day, this is too dang fast for me. It rap it's too rapid. It's like I'm sure after a little while like your excitement wears off and you know what to expect from the bike and you know what to do but like right now i'm just like i don't even know what to do so i love the way it looks i mean look at the look at the headlights kind of adorable from the front um look at that cat and same from the back and my buddy just got this bike uh so it literally just has a few miles on it. Uh, he asked me to keep it in sport, as I mentioned. But what else can I tell you about it? The exhaust, for a stock exhaust, it actually sounds quite nice. I'm actually impressed because it does have like that, that gallop to it, that fucking, that pickup. And 160 in the back, which is kind of interesting, pretty, pretty skinny of a tire for a sporty bike. No, it's a 180. Why did my buddy say it's a 60? Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how I feel. Like, like if I had a bike like this, I would keep it uh, all white with black wheels. No red accents or anything like that. Um, yeah, look at this beauty. Look at this suspension. It's way too aggressive and entirely, entirely too crazy of a bike. Uh, yeah, but 155 freaking horsepower, 155, and I can't, like the new ones with 205 or whatever. Like, what are you even supposed to do with that? It's funny, MotoGP is my favorite thing, and it's like, I don't know if I'm cut out for bikes like this. And it's freaking hot. And I don't even know what that smell was. It smelled like my pants were literally on fire. The quick shifter. I finally got to experience the quick shifter for realsies. That's the real, real troublesome part here. Oh man. Oh man. And it's funny, I read the reviews about the brakes, about this and that, how it's, you know, below, below par. And I'm just like, bro. What are you even saying? Put it in neutral. Start this baby up. All right. Sweet bananas. Yeah, one thing that, I'll, that like, that's why they have uh, racing helmets, you know? A bike like this, you cannot get away with a helmet like this. You need like a, one of those helmets that... Holy fuck. Fuck. You're constantly battling not losing your license on this machine. I would love to take this on proper twisties up in the Catskills, you know, where I could actually rail some turns. And I'm guessing the wheelie control is cranked up. Holy, holy gentle Jesus. Holy gentle Jesus. I'm fully sweating.
fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, this review could be basically called fucking hell. That's a new stop sign back there. Much needed, much needed. Right, you do hold on the clutch. Yeah, that was pretty crazy on the highway where I grabbed a handful of uh, front brake and it actually fucking, like if, like obviously I didn't pick up the rear, but the front compressed enough for me to uh, experience a whole new feeling. Shit, man. <sighs> I had fun. I feel like I failed everybody and I didn't deliver some sort of a coherent message, but the coherent message is, is that you know, like, it's hard to, first impressions are just that. Just like raw first impressions where you're just excited. And I've ridden the GSX-R 1000, like a 2009, I believe. And, but that was like straight up in traffic. So I didn't even get to like open it up at all to any degree. So the fact that I kind of got to hit BQE on this baby and go at least 60 miles per hour that's wonderful but what a weird machine to own in the city I guess you want like you want that ultimate speed you just want like that fucking holy sh holy shnikes I just want to be a jerk off on this bike. I mean, I kind of want to be a jerk off on any bike, but this bike specifically. Hopefully I didn't get any speeding tickets. Uh, and whatever I did get, I'm sure I'll hear all about it. What a machine, what a machine. There's a million things I probably forgot to tell you about it that I'm into, but the overall feeling is I'm not ready. I need like eight million more years with this bike to really feel it out. God damn. Definitely not the bike for me. I would die. What a machine. What a machine. Bring it in. And that's my my old bike or my other bike. Two thumbs up.